This is the Kara C, K-A-R-A. -A. See up there in the upper right-hand corner, the Kara C? It's, 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 a, it's a very far north place on Earth. We think of places like Sweden and Finland being very far north. Further north from there, parts of Siberia in Russia, further north from Siberia is the Kara Sea. Kara sea is home to the northernmost oil discovery in the world. In 2014, the Russian government-owned oil company, Rosneft, they drilled a well up in the Kara Sea, or at least they decided a well should be drilled there. It was actually Exxon who provided the rig. That was the product of a joint partnership uh, in 2012, Exxon CEO hammered out this deal with Rosneft. Basically, it was the mother of all oil deals. It put Exxon and Rosneft into a joint partnership deal to drill the Kara Sea, to drill elsewhere in the Arctic, to drill the Black Sea, to drill Siberia. That, that deal that Exxon CEO Rex Tillerson hammered out with Russia in 2012 is thought to be the biggest oil deal ever. Vladimir Putin said at the time it was likely to be a $500 billion deal, a half trillion dollar deal. They did that deal in 2012. The following year, 2013, Putin bestowed upon Rex Tillerson the Order of Friendship, Russia's highest award that they give to a non-Russian citizen. The year after that, 2014, victory in the Kara Sea, literally victory. That's the victory is the name they gave to the well that they drilled in the Kara Sea. That was fitting because they really hit pay dirt with that first well. That first well, they said, was capable of producing 750 million barrels of oil, just that one well. Overall in the Kara Sea, based on their initial exploratory work, they said they think the Kara Sea holds nearly 90 billion barrels of oil, which is way bigger than even Saudi Arabia's biggest oil fields. But that initial well in the Kara Sea in 2014, that was both their greatest victory and the end of it all. Because right after they drilled that well and hit oil, right? They thought they could get 750 million barrels of oil just out of that one well. Right after they drilled it, right after they made that announcement, boom, sanctions from the US government on Russia, including on Rosneft specifically and individually on the guy who runs Rosneft, sanctions as punishment for Russia invading Ukraine and taking Crimea. Can't do business with those folks in Russia anymore. And that stopped that giant half trillion dollar Exxon oil deal in its tracks. Nobody has drilled in the Kara Sea since then. Although you can see the Russians are getting antsy about it. In February, the Russian state-owned gas company, Gazprom, tender looking for tugboats and a passenger vessel to try to put another rig out there to at least drill for gas, even if Exxon can't come back out there and, and drill for more oil. Well, Exxon wants to get out there and drill for more oil. Today in the Wall Street Journal, we learned that Exxon is applying to be exempted from the U.S. sanctions on Russia, specifically so they can restart that oil drilling with Rosneft. Only now, it's not Rex Tillerson, Exxon's CEO, who's doing the asking. Now it's Rex Tillerson's successor at Exxon doing the asking. And the person he's asking is Rex Tillerson, because Rex Tillerson is now the U.S. Secretary of State. Tillerson will personally have to recuse himself from direct say over this decision because of his continuing financial ties to Exxon. But it's an eye-popping development, right? I mean, not least because of the mega amount of money that's involved here but also because of the unexplained coincidences and eventualities here. I mean, it's still not totally clear how Rex Tillerson ended up being Secretary of State, particularly since he and Donald Trump had never met before the November election. All the other people whose names were floated for Secretary of State made much more sense from Trump's perspective, right? I mean, former political rivals who he might want to bring into his camp, like Mitt Romney, people he'd seen on TV, like John Bolton, old friends like Rudy Giuliani or Rex Tillerson, who Donald Trump had never met, had never had anything to do with before, had never laid eyes on before the election. How did Rex Tillerson get that job? He must have come very highly recommended by someone. But if Rosneft and Exxon could please start drilling again, if Rosneft and Exxon could please just get an exemption from those U.S. government sanctions, obviously that would be great for Exxon, but it would be particularly great for Rosneft, which, as I mentioned, is owned by the government of Russia. As I mentioned, 